All right, we're on the driver's side of my Yukon Denali, and we're gonna get under here. And go right here. To find out what's causing this leak, which is probably this gasket right here, for the oil cooler lines. This little block right there. Can you see it? I hold the flashlight at the same time. It's like a magic trick here, folks. Here it is pointing at this sucker right here. You can see my finger pointing at it. Okay. And that's what we need to change out is that gasket there and see if that'll fix this problem and how to get this off because there's two 10 millimeter bolts there, but there's another bolt somewhere hidden in there. I'll have to find it and point it out for you. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, we gotta get these two bolts up there, the 10 millimeters, they're right up there, right there. Okay, off that plate there, it's like a block. And then the other one here is gonna be a difficult one. It's right in that hole right there. Let's see if I can magnify it here. Now, look where I went. I went from the oil filter underneath the frame here. You'll see a CV as I'm passing it. And I'm gonna look right in this hole right here, right here, okay? It's your steering assembly here, going to your tie rods, We're right in between here. So I'm going to expand it here, and then I'm gonna put a flashlight on it. Maybe you can see it better. Okay, let's see if we can get right on it here. It's a tough one to see. It's right at a weird angle too, man. Okay, let's see if I can get the camera in there. I know it's difficult for y'all to see. It's right in there, it's in that hole. See if I can expand it out again. It's a tough one, man. Tough one. Tough one. Right in there. Okay, see if we can get right in that hole. Put the light in there so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, see those two lines there? Those two lines. Right above those guys. Is our culprit we gotta get. There it is. Can you see it now? Hopefully you can see it. There it is. I had the light on. There it is. There's that bolt. It's right behind that brace here. Boy, it's a hard one to light up. Let's have to use a different method here to light it up. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's going to work. Now can you see it? There it is. There it is. I'm doing this one hand here, folks, trying to get you to see what I'm talking about. Right there in that little hole there, it's going to take a long extension. I'm going to tell you what it is after I figure it out. They say it's a 14 millimeter at the dealership. So that's the one I want to go after to get loose before I take off those two 10 millimeter bolts. And then I'll loosen it off to get the gasket out, clean it, and then put the new gasket on and tighten it down to about 22 foot pounds. And then tighten this one back up also afterwards. Okay, let's get after it. All right, the guy at the parts dealer was wrong about the size. It's a 13 millimeter. And if you look down on the driver's side where you uh, have your power steering filler on the right there there's the bolt right there now i'm gonna i'm gonna zoom on it here but he did tell me there it is right there you need to loosen that bracket right there he says don't take it off completely just get it loose so you can get to the other side after you take the 10 millimeter bolts out which he was right on but this is 13 millimeter this right here let me see if i get my finger in there oh gosh okay yeah right there my finger's not very clear there we go well, shaky hands, huh? That's what you get when you get old. <laughs> so anyway, there's the bolt right there. It's a 13 millimeter bolt. Let me back up real quick so you know where we're looking at. Once again, we're looking at the power steering pump. You're gonna have to go above on top of the engine. So it's kind of hard. I have my car up on ramps. So you're gonna have to uh, really, really put a towel or something or something soft because this car is gonna tear up your chest really bad. But there it is right there. You need to loosen that up as much as you can without completely taking it out. And then once you get underneath and take the 10 millimeter bolts off, it should be easy to slide out the gasket and put the new one in. All right, I got my uh, 10 millimeter bolts out and boy, was it a mess. I'll tell you, that thing was pouring out. I couldn't even get my oil pan fast enough to get this thing. This thing just bled like uh, you would not believe. But there it is right there. There's the bracket. And once I loosened up that bolt, uh, the 10 millimeter bolts, that thing just fell right off. And there's the gasket up inside. If you can see it right there, let me zoom in on it. Oh, that's about as far, oh, there we go. That gasket's still on there. So I gotta get that off, put the new one on, throw the bolt on and get this thing back together. So it wasn't too bad, folks. Uh, what I used 
to get this put, or to get the 10 millimeter, millimeter bolts out was, hang on just a second. Okay, to get the uh, 10 millimeter bolts out, which are these right here, okay? And be careful cleaning them off, the guy told me at the parts store. He says, is there something on here, like a sealer? That's on there, I can't see it very clearly there. It's kind of hard to see, it gets out of focus. Let me, there we go. There's something on there, and I can see it in the grooves. So he says it helps seal it. So anyway, don't wipe that too hard. And all I used was a 3 8 with a very long, I think it's almost a two and a half uh, deep well, 10 millimeter socket. So that's all you need to do that there. You just have to finagle uh, past this drive shaft here. It's kind of a little difficult to get up there, but once you get it loose enough, you can literally just take off the ratchet and just use the, the socket itself to get the bolts out. Okay, also my buddy at the, the parts place at the uh, GM dealer told me to take a mirror and put it above the block here. See, this is the block I'm wiggling right now. The, that's the block. He says sometimes they get cracked on top or the uh, lines that are coming into the top crack. So take a mirror and inspect the top portion before you do the gasket because you may have to replace the whole uh, oil cooler line hose itself. And that becomes more of a bear. And I'm gonna leave the link to that video that takes you there, how to take that out. There's a guy that's got a 6.0 liter that came out and uh, he did a really good job on describing it. But yeah, take the mirror here, check the top, make sure there's no cracks or the, uh, the, the lines aren't open in any, any part of the area there. And if it's good, like mine is, just uh, go ahead and replace the gasket. Okay, uh, now you need to line up your bolts, put your gasket in there, of course. Uh, didn't know to put oil on the gasket or not to make it seal better. I did not put oil on the gasket to make it seal better. So we'll see how that works out. Now I'm just tightening up the bolts by hand until I can tighten them up by wrench, about 22, 22 foot pounds. And uh, should be good to go and test it out and see if it leaks or not. Now, before you crank it up and test it, you better make sure you have uh, oil in the engine. So check your dipstick. I lost a lot of oil. I probably lost a quart for sure. So I've got a quart here. It could be more. Some people say when it's hotter, it, it bleeds more. I let it sit till the engine cooled down because it's right next to the catalytic converter, so it'll burn your hands. But check your oil. If you have nothing on your stick, you better add oil. I know on ramps, it's kind of a guess on how, how full it is. But if you have nothing on your stick there, I would add oil. Then once you get the car on level ground, then you can decide if you need to add more oil or not. All right, it doesn't leak. Looks good. I gave it a good stress test there, driving it around. Everything looks good. And uh, I didn't lose a quart. I lost about a half a quart of oil during the change there. So, works for me. Good luck. God bless.